Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about Facebook and the real purpose behind Facebook is to, uh, to collect everybody's faces into a database. Just, just think about the, just the name of it, Facebook. Well, I think it's called Facebook. They get your face in their database. It's, it's all, it's all, it's all came out in the, in the open anyway. People have been trying to do lawsuits against Facebook because of the privacy invaders and stuff like that. So, anyways, there's this article here. I want to read you guys the article. Facebook may, okay, Facebook may add your profile photo to facial recognition database. This is in the article, anyway. So anyways, I want to read this to you guys. It's just crazy. All the stuff that is taking place right now. Yeah. This is the Antichrist system that is being set up. Because in order, because they're going to have a one world government. Okay, They've been building a world government for years now. But for also to have a world government, you have to have total control over each and every single person on the planet. Because that's what these people want, is total control. And these people have thought of everything. They're smart people. They know exactly what they are doing. And they know that there will be people that will be rebellious, that will, will try to go up against their world government and so on. So that's why they're building a surveillance society to keep tabs on each and every single one of us. Not just a surveillance society, but total, total, total surveillance. Tracking, linking, scanning, tracing, profiling us you name it that's why every telephone conversation is listened to email fax you name it because they have an organization in echelon it was created after world war two but now they've, they've uh, ranked it up it's more high-tech now and it's a global surveillance uh, system that they listen on on each and every single person's telephone call, emails, faxes, text messages, you name it. Regardless the language that it's in, it's all translated. See, all this stuff is coming all together in order for the Antichrist to burst onto the scene and hijack all this technology. And this is exactly how he's going to know everything about everybody. <laughs> Total control, put it that way. But anyways... I want to read this article to you guys. This is about Facebook. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Facebook may add your profile photo to a facial recognition database. Okay. Facebook, this was August 29th, by the way, this year. August 29th, 2013 at 12.23 p.m. Eastern Time. Facebook is considering incorporate, incorporating most of its first 1 billion plus member profile photos into its growing facial recognition database. Ex did they ask any of you guys if this was alright? Seriously. Did they ask any of you guys if you are comfortable with them taking your pictures that you l upload on Facebook and they take it and they uh, throw it in a database to uh, bureaucrats Strangers that you don't even know. For those of you that are sharing pictures of your family and all this stuff, this should make you think twice before uploading a picture onto Facebook. If you don't want anybody seeing you, especially they actually share this this information commercially, and this is the way of the future, people. This is what's coming. It's already here, even outside when you go out. All those cameras that you see outside. Don't believe the lie that they're there to stop crime. Has cameras ever stopped crime before? No, they have not. You can't stop crime, but you can find the criminal. But that's not what it's all about. They've really conditioned the society that are deceiving the masses. All those cameras that you see outside are facial recognition software cameras. They're snatching your face out of, out of uh, the street or wherever you're walking, in the crowd, football stadium, wherever. But they have them at every street corner. So when they, they scan your face, they're matching them into their database and matching it with another database to see if you're wanted in another part of the world and think about it when they snatch your face you're already in the database my friend for those of you that have driver's license they take a picture of you right so you're already in the database and believe me that stuff does not get erased 
don't believe what you're being told by these people. They're all corrupted. They're all working for thugs, in my opinion, that are in the government. That are working for this, bringing in this new world order. Okay? And they, they don't even know about it because they're just told what to do. They have no clue. These people are clueless. They don't know nothing of what's going on. So think about it. When they take your picture off of Facebook, they know exactly who you are. Because if you have a driver's license or if you have a Medicare card that has your picture and your name comes on it, so when they take that face, automatically it identifies if you're in, the, if you're in another database because it can read your face and match it with the face, boom. Your face comes up, all your medical uh, history, everything about you comes up, your banking, your address, they know everything about us. Put it this way. They have mega databases on each and every single one of us. You guys can check these corporations out. It's Axion, Choice Point, and I forget the other ones. Like, there's so many mega databases, but that's far from the worst. That's just the tip of the iceberg. The next step is, is to link us into, that system, into their matrix system, which I'm going to be talking about very soon, about the mark of the beast. Like I've been talking about it for a long time, but I want to get into more depth. But they're going to be linking people into, the bio, into that system by biometrics. But anyways, I just wanted to, to read that to you. You see, they're sucking all your information. So Taffy, if you're watching this, that's good what you've been doing. Keep telling people. Like, like before, you told me if I, if I warned uh, my cousin, does he know about the biometrics? And people are posting these pictures up of their children. And yet people in the government are corrupt. They're, ped they're, they're pedophiles. Don't, don't be fooled. These people are corrupt, okay? Hiring people. And yet, people are putting pictures up, and they, they can do whatever they want with those pictures, my friend. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled, man. They can create disinformation on you. They can create false profiles on you. Because there was a report, okay, about this woman. She wanted to do a lawsuit against these people. Because these people, they came up to her. They had a sheet of paper, and they told her this, this, this. They had all this stuff on this paper was totally describing her whole life. She's like, I never even knew these people. I never... I'm like, who the heck are these people? And yet they know every detail of my life. So they threw this woman in prison. And then after, oh, we made a mistake. We did a mix-up in the paper. Somehow it got mixed with somebody else's. Yeah, well, sorry. That time that I did in prison cannot come back. You see? This is the dangerous people. This is the dangers of a cashless society, and this is where we are headed, is a cashless society. Total control. It's like incredible, ladies and gentlemen. So you see that? They don't ask you if it's okay for them to take your picture, but yet they're, they're doing it anyway because they don't care. That's what power does. It corrupts, as they say. Absolute power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. And very soon total power will totally corrupt us all. And this is the truth, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's going on. That's why they say for evil men to prosper is for good men to do nothing. That's why we got to sound the alarm. we got to let people be aware of this. Like these new things coming out, smartphones, all this stuff, people are not even aware of it. <laughs> it's a tracking device. It's a tracking gadget. They're tracking your every move. Even when you shut off the cell phone, it's a microphone to their ear when you're in your room or whatever. They listen to on everything. It doesn't matter. They're, they're listening to everything that you say and do. And they're recording everything, man. It's just incredible. They're creating this massive matrix system right under our noses. Well, you are the, you are the bait. They're selling you all this product, and yet they're sucking everybody into it because nobody has knowledge. People don't want to believe that this is actually going on. But yet, for us that know Bible prophecy, this is exactly what is going on. I'm literally shocked and stunned to see what I'm seeing with my own two eyes, what's happening right before my very eyes. We call this treason. This is treason, people. Like, I can go on, man. You have to be careful what you say on the telephone, man. Because there was a person that was on the phone with somebody, because he, he checked something on the internet, you know? That there was a bomb that was going to go off at a certain city or whatever. So he said to this person that I knew, watch out that you don't go around this certain area tomorrow. I heard, I read something online that there was a bomb or something was going to go off. Shortly after he had that conversation, there was people at his door that had the whole entire voice manuscript of what he said. They had that all on uh, the script. 
and just told them I was just concerned. Something that I read online, they said that there was a bomb or to be careful not to go in this area. And uh, I was concerned, so I told one of my friends not to go by that area. And yet they had that on the his voice. They had it all on the script. The man, the voice. It's just incredible. It's literally incredible. And even this other uh, woman, because this guy Mike Fra Mike Frost that came out of the NSA National Agency, like these things that are monitoring all of us. He said there was there was a what's it called? Yeah, this woman was on the phone where they were listening on to her, and because her, she was talking to another one of her friends. That one of her one of her sons did not do a good job at a school play, so she meant he really bombed it. So because that word bomb got caught up, got caught in their uh, system, because it goes by keywords like assassination, terrorist, White House, whatever, whatever the word is, you know, Allah, Al Qaeda, or whatever, it catches those keywords. So because she used the word bomb. It went into the analyst desk. They analyzed it, and they said if she, if they ever catch her saying something else, she can become on the high, high, high red list, labeled as a terrorist, and strange things will happen to her, where she will go and try to swipe her card or credit card. For some reason, it will not work, and so many other things. And if she tries to call into people and ask them, they say we don't know what's wrong. Total control, people. This is total control. So they were saying, imagine they change that code word in the future to Jesus. They're, they're, they're going to catch everybody. Like during the tribulation period I'm talking about. All this stuff is leading step by step towards that direction. That's why we are very close to the rapture of the church. So this guy Mike Frost was saying, if you don't want them to hear anything, don't talk on the phone. And this guy used to work. He came out in the public and he admitted it. This is what's taking place. But anyways, let's start over here. Facebook is considering a corporation. Most of look at this, corporating most. Look at that. Most of its first one billion plus members profiling photos into its growing facial recognition database, expanding the scope of the social network controversial technology. The possible move, which Facebook revealed in an update to its data use policy on two, the Thursday, is intended to improve the performance of its tagging. Yeah, tagging. Tag suggestions feature. The future uses. Look at that. The future. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The future uses facial recognition technology. To speed up the progress of libering or tagging friends and requires who appears in photos posted on the network. They always try to make it sound like a good thing, but it's not. The technology currently automatically identifies faces in new uploads, photos by comparing them only to previous snapshots in which users were tags Facebook users can choose to remove tags identifying them in photos posted by others on the site the charges would come at a time when Facebook and other internet companies privacy practices are under surly following the revelations of a US government electronic Surveillance, yeah, exactly. Surveillance program. Facebook, Google, and other companies have insisted that they have never practiced in any program giving the government direct, yeah, okay, what a bunch of lies, man. Direct as access to their computer service and that they only provide information in response to specific requirements after careful reviews and as required by law. These people are lying in people's faces. Facebook Chief Privacy Officer Aaron Gaines said that adding members' public profile photos would give users better control. Yeah, contr no, it's not going to give users. It's going to give them better control. Reverse it. Put the pull the opposite. Them, not you guys. They don't care about anybody else. Look at that. The Chief User 
to give users better control over their personal information. Yeah, right. By making it easier to identify post photos in which they appear. Our goal is to tagging so that people know when there are photos of them on our service in set. She stressed that Facebook users uncomfortable with facial recognition technology will still be able to opt out. Yeah, that's a bunch of lies. These people are all liars, man. It's not even funny. History is repeating itself. They say the same lie over again, and yet people don't even realize it. Opt out of the tag suggestions features altogether, in which case the person's public profile photo would not be included in the facial recognition database. Facial recognition technology has been a certain issue for technology companies raising concerns among some privacy invader, advisors and government officials. Tag suggests which the company instructed in 2011 is now available in Europe done to concerns raised by regulations there. Google social network. Google also employs similar technology but requires users consent and has banned third-party software makers from using Facebook. This is a bunch of bull ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Google is part of the CFR, just to let you guys be aware of that. The Council on Foreign Relations that are working on a one-world government. And yet, people, that's why, people that are, people that are knowledgeable of what's going on, they're going to know what a, what, what a lie is and what's not a lie. These people are, they're liars. They're literally lying in your face, okay? Google social network, Google also employs similar technology but requires users' consent and has banned <coughs> third-party software makers from using facial recognition. Technology and apps designed for its glass wearable computers okay computers said Facebook was not currently using facial recognition technology for any other features but that could change can I say that we will never use facial recognition technology for any other purpose <laughs> absolutely not said but she noted, if we decide to use it in different ways, we will continue to provide people transparent about that. And we will continue to provide control. Hmm. Facebook also amended its statement of rights and responsibilities on Tuesday or Thursday, adding and taking the language so that members under 18 years of age and demand to have affirm that a parent or legal guardian has agreed to allow makers to use some of their personal information in ads. Why do you need to why do you need to use ads for it? Like it's taking people's private stuff. It just doesn't make sense, man. The language was the result of a current court approval. Legal system regardless its spun stories, ads, copyright 2013. You see, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot believe these thugs I'm trying to make it all sound like a good thing. You don't have to worry. They always get caught lying in the past. They're all liars. Remember that. Politicians are liars. They're blood sucking creatures. That's all that they are. They are going for total control. So they're going to tell people, oh, don't worry anymore, blah, blah, blah. They don't care. They've got the system and they don't care what anybody thinks. They're laughing at people that are ignorant because your ignorance is their power. But yet these people don't really really care anymore. They, they come out so in the open because there was a story that happened in um, Pennsylvania and I heard another one happen in, uh, I think, was it Colorado or Philadelphia? But all that I know is about the one in... Um, I heard someone say Philadelphia, but the other one that I know is, is the Pennsylvania that happened a couple of years ago about these teenage girls that brought a, a, uh, the school laptop home, and yet afterwards they come out in the open, oh, we were able to see the girls through the laptop. Yeah, isn't that cool? And yet the girl was freaking out to her mother because she's like, Mom, I never turn off my laptop, not even when I get changed. And where does a, where does a kid, where does a teenager really 
have her laptop with her in her bedroom. So yet these people were having a show of a lifetime watching this teenage girl getting dressed. This is sick. This is an invasion of privacy. This is against the Constitution. And yet they're going along right with it. Anybody that would have done this in the past would have got arrested and thrown in prison. And yet these people are going along right into it. We need a more secured system. So we need to see if you're really treating the computers right or whatever they try to say. This is total surveillance people. Okay? There's actually records that are in London, England <coughs> that I heard that they actually have cameras in some in some of the houses. They said the very reason for the cameras is to see if um what's it called? If they're feeding their children their pop the proper food, if they're putting them putting them to bed on time and so on. It's totally ridiculous. Totally ridiculous people. Like this is coming down the line. Total control. Like, you know, they made videos on all this stuff like years ago, but you guys can still watch the videos on YouTube, Enemy of the State by Will Smith, and so many other stuff. So many other stuff, man. Total surveillance, this means total control, and that's exactly what they're doing, so I just want people to be aware of this. Facebook was set up, by the way, by the Department of, by the Department of Defense and the CIA to control and track everybody listening to everything they always say it's for a good thing always to protect you if you get threatened we will know we will have it on our records blah 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 so say goodbye to pri say goodbye to privacy privacy was good while we had it and yet privacy has gone down the drain it will be just a short memory a thing of the past it will be a distant memory I mean it will be a distant memory something that we will only remember that we had and it was a great privilege to have it. We, we don't have it anymore. <coughs> yeah, we don't have privacy anymore, but so many people don't even realize it. Because they got them all mesmerized. They got them all under their spell. That this is all good. This is a good thing. And so many people are not even aware of it. But yeah, this is exactly what's taking place. That's why whenever you go to these stores, they try to ask, do you want to, uh, these cards that they try to give people, do you want to win these many points? This, this has nothing to do with you. It has to do with you building your own prison database, getting all this information on you. Because right now, when you use a credit card, debit card, MasterCard, they're all recording your, your transactions, your credit card transactions. They know what type of food you buy. They know what time you bought it at. And they know your habits. They know what type of food you eat. So think, for, for an example, say if you're eating certain foods that the government says in their opinion, but not in yours. Okay? Oh, that food's not right. You shouldn't be eating that food. So if something happens to you, they already have the records of your fooding of your food habits. Oh sorry, we can't give you uh we can't give you surgery, it's your own fault. Sorry. This is the whole thing about uh, the government taking over the healthcare system. Look at that. Government taking over the healthcare. Now why is that? They can dictate what you can eat. This is all about agenda twenty one people. This is all about agenda twenty one. They can, they can dictate what type of foods you can eat. Because I saw the thing. Okay? Like say if you're feeding your children, you're feeding your children healthy food, but who determines if it's healthy or not? Even if it is healthy? The government. The government wants you to eat their food. They don't want you to be dependent on yourself. They want you to be dependent on them and them alone. They want you to be their slaves. This is all that it's about. is total enslavement, people. This is what's taking place. And this is what people need to realize. So if they say if you're not feeding your children their proper food in their eyes, they can take your children from you and take them away from you. And they were saying other all kinds of trades, all kinds of stuff, man. Total control. Like this hoax about global warming. Like it's not even real. Al Gore, the guy that talked about that, he's the one that said he invented the internet and then afterwards they found out that he didn't. He said the climate bill. Oh, I went from global warming to climate. I wonder why. Because many people have ca caught on to the thing that there's no such thing as global warming. And yet you have many scientists that are trying to contact the media, but yet they're pushing them aside. They won't even talk to them. Why? Because it's all planned. It's all part of their master plan to go into total control over the whole entire population of the world. This is all that it's about, people, is a one world government. This is all that it's about. This is what they're setting up. Because they said... They can dictate what type of food you can eat. 
They can dictate what type of gas you have in your car because remember, we have to protect the environment. We don't want to be polluting our environment for the best interest of us all. We've got to look for a brighter future. Yeah, right. Brighter future. And it goes on and on and on. Total control. Like farmers already, because I have a friend that lives in California. She told me that farmers are starting to get arrested because they're growing their own, uh, they're, they've been growing their own food. They're getting arrested. Like there's so much stuff going on, people. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research and see if these things are so, like, it's all on the news lines, man. Like, when it's raining, like, it's raining outside, you cannot even collect the rain that's fallen from the sky. Now, that has to be taxed. You can't have your own water. It goes on and on. We're in a crisis. It seems like everything's in a crisis. We have a food crisis. So now we have to come with a global entity to control the world's food supply. Not just that, now we have a water crisis. Now we need to come up with a global entity to control all the water supply. A one world regulator. Like, ladies and gentlemen, this is what's taking place, man. They're going for total control. The United Nations already has a thing to sign to, to, to give them total control over the whole entire world's populations. And their plan is to have everybody come living in compacted cities. Total control, man. Total control. This is what's taking place. Because what's underway right now, ladies and gentlemen, is a North American Union. It is still on the table. These people are not going to give up until they succeed. They will never stop until they have total power and total control over us all. A North American Union is Canada, U.S., and Mexico emerge into one super country. Even my Prime Minister here in Canada was talking about it. They give no bones about it. He was at the G20 uh, summit. He's like, we're going to have to work globally. Yeah, we're going to have to work globally. So we can't depend on our own countries anymore. We all have to become global partnerships with this emerging new world order. How do you like that? This is exactly what, basically what they're saying. Exactly. Like he was saying, you know what? Like I said to Canadians before, and I say it again, it's no longer called the Canadian economy. It's a global economy. I know many people, they don't like the idea because it's a way with their national sovereignty, but it's a simple reality. Yeah, it's a simple reality. And then you have another guy from Canada. We're going to have to give up a bit of our sovereignty to create a safer world. It's in the, it's the, it's in the Canadian Council, people, that they're working on a North American Union. The David Rockefeller Foundation, this is all planned out by the Rockefellers. Even Henry Kissinger came out in uh, the Los Angeles Times. He says, you know what, this NAFTA thing, it has nothing to do with free trade. This is an amazing architect towards the New World Order. This is what's taking place, ladies and gentlemen. The Vatican came out calling for a world government, a one world central bank, a global political leader. Who do you think that global political leader is going to be? It's going to be the Antichrist. Come on. Look at it, the government. Open your eyes, man. Look what's going on, people. Don't be listening to the media. They're, they're, they're ma deceiving the masses by the thousands, man. Like, come on. The government's taking over the health care system. Look at that. Health care. What's, what's more important to you? Your health, right? So they, took, they take control of that. They control your life, man. It's about total control, this Obamacare thing. And they said they have, they have a class 2 medical device in there. What do you think that's talking about? And yet, you have the FDA, the same thing that's in the, the Obamacare. They said it's a class 2 medical device. And the guy from the FDA says, you know what? A class 2 medical device, it's the same thing as a Verichip. So that's, what, that's so basically, it sounds like that's what's in the Obamacare bill. Healthcare. Yeah. It's just incredible where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. So they want Canada, U.S., and Mexico emerge into one super country because their first goal was meant was to create the United States of Europe. Because they said before, we can bring in our new world order, we must unite Europe. And that's exactly what they did. So they created the United States of Europe, and then they created an African Union, an Asian Union. Now they're creating a North American Union. You guys need to ask yourself a question. If 9-11 was really a terrorist attack, why in the world did President Bush keep the borders wide open? If that was really an attack, wouldn't you be concerned and close the borders immediately? And yet he kept them wide open. Why is that? Because they are not concerned about borders. They are destroying sovereign countries. They are destroying our sovereignty. The World Trade Organization, the WTO, is calling for the end of Canada and U.S.'s national sovereignty. They are working on a one world government and people need to see what's taking place. 
And yet the amazing thing of all this is that the Bible prophesied that in the last days, before Jesus' second coming, that this whole entire world will be under a one world government, a one world currency, you name it. One world religion, that's what they're doing. This is how we need to annihilate war, is if we all come together as one big happy family. Think about it. We're no longer divided, which means we have no more diversities. We're all one. We are all one. For everybody to get along, we all must stand as one in this bright new world. Even Obama said that in Berlin. We can no longer afford to be divided. We must tie global citizenship together. It's the one way. It's the only way. We don't have a choice. Leadership in Washington will not remove this burden off of us. For our nation and for all nations. What does that tell you? For our nation, for all nations. That's global. And yet, he said, nations that are weak and nations that are strong cannot face these challenges alone. We must cooperate with one another and continue to bind us together. It goes on and on, ladies and gentlemen. It goes on and on. He's like, we got to give them a state in the type of new world order that we would all would like to see. And yet, back in 2008, that was all engineered and planned, the, the economic collapse. Because there was a woman that was trying to warn people and they didn't like it, so they, they shut her up. You know? And yet what happened? Boom. Economic collapse happened in 2008. And yet they said they engineered that to give them more power and more control. And yet you have China and Russia coming out saying the only way that we can solve this economic, economic collapse is if we set up a one world currency. That's what's happening people. They are getting rid of the United States dollar and that's probably how they will bring in the North American Union. You destroy the dollar because they already have another dollar waiting in, in the wings in place. It's called the Amero. I saw it. They already have the coin and everything. So think about what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look. These people are clever. They know exactly what they're doing. They have the European Union. They have the African Union. They have the Asian Union. And now they're bringing in a North American Union. They want to unite the other countries as well. And yet, what are they going to do with it once we get all that? They're all going to combine together. We all become one. They create one money system. We're no longer divided. We are all one. We set up a global currency for all. We are all in the same thing. But yet, it just gets worse. Because they're going to a cashless economy. Cash is going down the drain. But you can already say that we're living in a cashless society because... Most people today just use credit cards, debit cards, master cards. Very few people use cash. And they're going to use all this stuff to bring in their cashless society. So many people's cards are getting frauded. It's so easy to counterfeit a credit card, debit card. Somebody's thing gets stolen. They, and with all these RFID readers, ladies and gentlemen, they can read your PIN number right off it, right into their system, and they can take all your money. It's so easy how to go into a cashless society, ladies and gentlemen. For an example, like a couple of years ago, somebody in Germany took money out of my mom's account. Imagine, from Canada. From, from here in Canada, somebody in Germany took money out of my mother's account. Like So, people's credit cards are getting frauded. People are stealing money out of other people's accounts. Uh, so many people can make fake IDs. Anybody can come off the street and give a social security number. We don't know which is which. And we have all these bailouts, which is all, is all because of cash. It's all because of debt. And plus money is filthy. It's dirty. It carries viruses on it. That's what they were talking about, the H1N1. So why don't we just go into a new system? And plus these politics that are, that are spending money left and right like, not, like, like it's nothing. They're like, oh, because they ask each other, where's all the money? Where'd all the money go? Man, a million dollars, billion dollars, where'd all the money go? They're like, oh, uh, we don't know. You see? They say, we don't know. So yeah, if you go to a cashless society, think about it. You will know where exactly where the money is because it, be, it will all be done digital, di digitalized. You will all have it under the tip of your fingers, right through the computer. This is how we're going into a cashless society, people. And even here in Canada, I want to show you. Now we have plastic money it's harder to counterfeit but there's always going to be professionals out there that know how to make exact counterfeit plastic they're, they're professionals that's why cash has to go that's why they're bringing in biometrics people if we have a global problem 
a global crisis, like they always try to throw it on. So now we have to, we have identity theft, that's a problem worldwide, so now we have to go into a safer system and secure for all, and that is biometrics, linking somebody's body part to do a financial transaction. You see how they're conditioning people for the mark of the beast. This is where we are headed, people. This is what's taking place. Because biometric stands for three measurements of the body. It does your, uh, your hand, your eyes, and then your face. And then now you're sucked into the database, and that's how you will do a financial transaction, is by a hand or a, a face scan or an iris scan. And they're already doing it in some places, and so many people that don't know the Bible are so deceived. Like, they showed this lady at the grocery store. She paid with her hand. She's like, you know what? I don't really have to worry because, you know, I just pay for everything with my hand. Ah, where did we hear that before? The Bible, Revelation chapter 13 from 16 to 18. He causes all, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark. You see, a mark. Not a new credit card, not new money, a mark. To receive a mark on the right hand or on the forehead. And that might be an RFID chip, some kind of microchip, or it could be a tattoo. You can have it. You have two options. You can probably have it on the hand or in the hand. Because now they have it's called so mark. You can have a, a, an RFID tattoo mark on the hand, or you can have an RFID chip underneath the skin. And that's how you will do your transactions. This is where we're going, people. The media is really behind all this. They're promoting it on their television shows. They show it on CSI about this little girl that got chipped. So the reason why we got our girl chipped, so if she goes missing, you know, we can find her immediately by satellite. We just type in the microchip number on our computer, and we, we, we know where, exactly where she is. And they had another one on CSI. They found this body that had a Vera chip in her, and they found out it was RFID, stands for Radio Frequency Identification. And they said, why in the world did you put it, why did you put it, because the person said the person that did this had to have done it while the person was unconscious. And they found out that it was his wife. They're like, why in the world did you put a chip in your wife? Oh, she was cheating on me. And by the way, within 15 years from now, everybody's going to have a chip in them. And this is the way of the future. And even on Futurama, on the cartoons, people, the, one, the, the girl's like, sit down. You got to do what you got to do. Stand still while I implant your, your career chip. It's everywhere, man. Put it that way. Even on the new series that they have going on on uh, television, it's called The Blacklist. They have a guy implanted with a chip in his neck. Like, I can go on, people. It's in the Veritip Corporation, Digital Angel, the FDA, Alien Technology. It's here, man. This is, this is where everything's going to. And they're making it all sound like a good thing. It's like this police officer that was on a high-speed chase his motor overheated, he crashed, and he said if it wasn't for the microchip that was in his arm, because they went to the scene, they, they scanned, and they found out that he had a chip, they knew exactly what type of medical uh, condition that he was in, they knew exactly how to treat him, and they found out that he was diabetic, so he said if it wasn't for the chip, you know, I'd probably be in a, I'd be in a coma today. They always throw it, on to a, throw it on as a good thing. Like the stuff, like now you go to Walt Disneyland, you need an RFID bracelet. You go to SeaWorld. You need to do a biometric scan. This is all coming in through the Department of Homeland Security, people. Total dictatorship. Where you cannot take cash out of the bank unless you do a finger scan and it reads the finger that is on your card. Because the card that you're going to have is a digital card with your face, with an eye, or a finger. So it's going to read your finger or your eye that's on the card once you put it in the machine or you go up to the machine. Once it uh, verifies the eye that's on the card, and it's this, it reads it's the same eye that, that your eyes are and it identifies and it gives you the money. So without it, you can't have the money. So this is total control. Total control. This is what's happening, people. This is exactly what's happening. But anyways, I want to show you the money. This is, this is plastic, man. This is literally plastic, people. This is crazy. You see? This is a $20 bill from Canada. Look at this. That is plastic. Look at that, the queen, the queen. You know who she is, huh? She's part of the New World Order as well. Many people don't know that. But look at this. This cannot even rip. You can't, you can't rip it. Look. You can't rip this money, man. You, you, you just can't. You can't rip it, man. You can't rip it. Yeah. You see what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen? 
The next step, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I see this coming at me in 3D because I know what my Bible tells me and all the, all the documentaries that I listen to and all the things that are coming down the line so fast. Look how fast we went from paper to plastic. And what's the next step? Single biometric ID card for everybody. Because it's already got slipped into the immigration. Oh, the crisis. We have an immigration crisis. Now we need to know who's an American. Every American has to hand over their biometrics. Three people helped Obama pass it in the bill. And yet you have ZukiNet from Japan going into it. You have uh, Nigeria going into it maybe 2014 or 2015. You have Mexico going into it. You have the European Union going into it. Just look what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen. It's going global, exactly as the Bible said. Get training the masses. Like, it's crazy. I never thought that I'd be seeing all this stuff taking place right before my very eyes. And yet, it's all happening. So think about it. The photo ID. So we go from paper to plastic. Next is biometrics. And then what? Underneath the skin. Even this guy, Randy. Think about it. This guy, Randy, uh, from 60 Minutes. I want to read to you what he said. Like, even John Walsh, man. It's, like, it's just crazy, man, ladies and gentlemen. It's just insane just to see where we are right now. Like, everything is happening so fast. And it just breaks my heart that so many people are not aware of where we are right now. So, anyways, I want to read this to you. This is with the guy, Randy, uh, Andy, sorry, his name is Andy something. This is what he said. Listen to this. We need some system for a primarily identifying safe people. Most of us are never going to blow anything up, and there's got to be something better than one of these photo IDs. Ah, something better. And yet, what are they talking about now? Photo ID, biometric national ID cards. So there has to be something better. So first we're going to go to biometrics, and then after we'll put it in the skin. You go. This is going step by step towards that direction. That's where it's all conditioning people. It's all leading up to that. So this is what he said. We need some system for primarily identifying safe people. Most of us are never going to blow anything up. And there's got to be something better than one of these photo IDs. I wouldn't mind having something planted primarily in my arm that would identify me. Hmm. And that was shortly, this shortly was uh, said after September 11th, 2001. And look at this, even John Walsh is in on it. This is what John Walsh had to say. John Walsh of America's Most Wanted said about implants. It is a brilliant idea. I wish someone would develop it because, number one, time is crucial. When a child is missing, and you could locate them by the chip. And even if you weren't lucky enough to locate them, finding the body is crucial for two things. The ending of the search of the parents and helping with the prosecution of the case. So I hope that somebody develops that in my lifetime. <laughs> Well, it's already been developed, my friend. Even the Pope is in on this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Like, this is totally incredible. If you don't get a chip, it's because you're hiding something. And you're absolutely dangerous. No, it's called an invasion of privacy. I don't need to be chipped. I'm a human being. I'm not an animal. And you shouldn't even be tracking animals either. It's totally, it's just crazy, man. I never thought that I'd be living to see what I'm seeing with my own eyes, people. This is just so surreal. Like, to even imagine that it's actually taking place, man. And it, it's happened. I cannot deny it. I'm seeing it happening right before my very eyes. Like, man, it's, like, incredible. Yeah, people are willingly receiving a chip, man. Like, people that go to the Baja Club, like, it, it just goes on and on. And yet the guy says, this is a new form of surveillance. This is the way of the future. Yeah. That's what my Bible tells me. Yeah, these people don't even know. But listen to this. Because if you're not chipped, you're probably hiding something and are absolutely dangerous. And this was, this was Pope Benedict XVI now. This one that I'm about to read here. This came from the former Pope, Pope Benedict XVI. And this is what he had to say, ladies and gentlemen. And believe it or not, even the former Pope is saying being tracked with this technology is perfectly fine. 
He even implanted it for his staff at the Vatican. And after he said this speech, guess what? Somebody said, you know what? This is a good thing. The Pope says this is perfectly fine. He doesn't think this has anything to do with the book of Revelation. So that's great, especially in hearing it coming from the Pope from himself. Well, what does the Bible say? The whole world's going to be duped by who? The Antichrist and the false prophet. Hmm. Get to know your Bibles, folks. This is what's coming down the line. And yeah, even this, too. This is very soon. Talking about chips, people. Listen to this. And we soon see FBI DHS bulletins distributed, distributed to doctors, retailers, and government bureaucrats about how to identify like suspicious behavior, you know? Threatening activities of non chippers. Oh, you're not chipped. If you see unchipped, say something. It's your duty. Wow. It's your duty. If you're not microchipped, I gotta rot you into the government. No. I don't think so. You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, I have this I have cash. I must be a terrorist. You guys better wrap me in. I'm not chipped. Like, seriously, it's crazy. In the Department of Homeland Security saying that people that just use cash, like me, I'm labeled as a terrorist. Yeah, right. These people are control freaks in the government. They are literally control freaks. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time in human history where one individual can control all buying and selling. That alone should show anybody that the Bible and the Bible alone is the word of God and that God and God alone is who he says he is. Because he prophesied all this in the beginning. So I am God and there is none like me. Declare me end from the beginning. And yet it's happening. When John wrote that in Revelation chapter 13 from 16 to 18, that was still a time of, of straw and hay and people were fighting with slingshots, spears, and bow and arrow. It was it was unconceivable to come up with something like that. And yet, yeah, and we see them uniting all the economies together where there's only going to be one money. And they're going into a cashless system, going into biometrics, and then from there, everybody line up and take your chip or die. They even said, take a chip or starve to death. Where do we hear that, man? In the Bible. You can't buy or sell. Even at airports, they're getting people... Instead of having the card on them, they'll just have a chip on them. Very soon your boss will be getting under your skin. Like, it's so out in the open, man. It's literally out in the open. Seriously, man. This is what's going on, people. People need to realize this is what's taking place. This is not a fairy tale. This is not fa fantasy. This is Bible prophecy coming to pass in real time right before our very eyes. This is God showing you that He exists. I said it in my word over 2,000 years ago, and everything that I showed to my prophet John on the island of Patmos is coming to pass right before your very eyes. I foretold this all so flawlessly, so perfectly, that when it happens, nobody can manipulate it. And yet, it's happening exactly as God said. And this is all i got to say. I'm excited because Jesus Christ is coming back. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we got to keep motivated. We need to keep sharing the gospel because our time is short and we're going home very soon to be with Jesus. So, keep looking up. Our King is coming. And God bless you all. We are going home. Be raptured ready. Because when that last trumpet sounds, zap. We're out of here to the glory of God. God bless you all. Be ready. Jesus is indeed coming very soon. God bless.